These dumbbells. Juju has been using these all morning. He's been wrist curling nonstop. Is it effective for arm wrestling? I think he's doing it wrong. Why? Everyone else in the gym does them just like this. Well, I prefer to take more of a neutral grip. Oh. Well, shall we take it to a table? We should. This is the third part of the four-part series in the arm wrestling videos. For the fourth part, we're going to be doing an arm wrestling tournament with all kinds of people we've collaborated with on videos. We invited lots of people, including the Thompson's Gym, the Rock Climbing Boys. We invited Branson, Kevin, and maybe uh, we'll see who else. But uh, <laughs> it's going to be a number of people from the local area. It's a smattering of people. Yeah. From all different backgrounds and ages, sizes. And we're going to do a round-robin tournament. It'll be fun. Yeah, and you're gonna help with uh, yes with judging. You're gonna I referee. Will, I will be one armed. I will be in a sling. And give a crash know. course on how to stay safe when you're arm wrestling. Yeah, that's it, it's more effective when you're in a sling because you can tell people you broke your arm and don't be like me. You can be a cautionary tale when you're giving people that. Because <laughs> you're getting shoulder surgery from a car accident that occurred. Yep, back in January. So I've had Spock doing the Vulcan death grip on my right trap since January, and mm -hmm. I'm getting AC joint surgery, so. Okay, well, let's get into the arm exercises. You can drop your shoulder down to this oh, wow. angle, so now you're in more of a neutral position. I would have never thought of this. And then you can wrist curl this way. Or you can do them off the end of a bench, or you can do them over your knee. So basically change to where the rest of your body is. Exactly, yeah, because. Like this? Yes. Yes. I've never as seen this before. Uncomfortable as that might look and feel, it's a lot more comfortable actually over your knee on a bench or just over a bench. Emulating a sort of fat grip rolling handle. So with a fat grip, and this one is, it, it, with the little bit of gap here, it's probably more like two and a half inches. Yep. I always tell people if you're gonna go two and a half inches, especially if you have a smaller hand, which for me, like sub seven and a half inches from here to here, mm -hmm. if your hand is smaller, the wider you go, the more stress you're gonna put on the ligaments in your thumb. So you wanna use a handle if it's this thick and you can go thick, you want to make sure that you keep your thumb off the back. Okay. Because a lot of what you need for arm wrestling is the ability to flatten your fingers and to contain somebody's hand. So you need what arm wrestlers like to refer to as, well, supporting strength or cupping strength. So you want to get used to kind of the real estate underneath your elbow. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that you can, you can make moves uh, from, from, from side to side and corner to corner without running out of real estate. The more familiar you get with it, the more you remember how much room you have so that when you're in a match, you don't have to think about it. In terms of time spent training, you were saying the other day when we were there, you do so few ready go type matches. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of say actually arm wrestling an individual for training purposes as compared to using these exercises, what ratio do you usually have wow. in your training? Well, I'm not actively arm wrestling like I was, say, six years ago. Yeah. Uh, but I still implement some of the exercises in. Mm -hmm. When I was actively arm wrestling, what I recommended to people, when they got to the point where they really knew their way around the table, yeah. and they had enough table time to probably arm wrestle once every two weeks. Gosh, that's kind of comforting okay. to know uh, that you don't have to be right. arm wrestling with a group of guys right, three days a week. Yeah. The last time you went, you went a little, I, I, you kept going. I, I told you to chill. I switched arms. You kept going. And then I kept going. And, and then you had a little uh, bit in of In both tendon. arms. Yeah. In both arms. Yep. Yeah. And it was not the day after that the tendonitis and tendons occurred. It was the second day. Yeah. What the hell was that about? I've never had anything like that. It wasn't like doms in your legs where it just gets worse and worse progressively. It was no. fine the day after. Then the day after that, I was like, I'm in a lot of pain. Yeah, it, it <laughs> almost feels like you can train the day after without any kind of issues. And then the day after that, you're like, what was I thinking? Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is crazy. <laughs> Arm wrestling is a one rep sport. 
So you want to have the strength to be able to defeat somebody very quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want, you have to be able to train for a marathon for the longer matches, but you also want to be able to have that big one RM, you know, to the side. Explosion. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of that, I think you, you, tr you get that strength from training in the gym personally. So do you think Jen Thompson is going to be good at arm wrestling? I think Jen Thompson could be fantastic at arm wrestling. Cool. Because she's got all that pressing power. Yeah. You think about compound movements for other parts of your body. You're, you're mm -hmm. putting together different groups of muscles. So for arm wrestling, you can kind of do the same thing from, from a cable. Drag it back, contract your lat, engage your pec, wrist curl, drive to the side. What you're so, saying is you can take all these exercises, do double digit reps, do a circuit and have morning cardio arm wrestling training. You could, you could do that. Got it. We're using some funky dumbbells that Juju never used before he got real dumbbells. You wanna do this very slowly. You wanna build up very slowly. This is one of those exercises too, that if you, you, you start a little bit too quick, too heavy, you know, there is a risk of injury. A lot of brachial radialis strains have come from this exercise, mm -hmm. but being able to try to keep your knuckles up in this position and then doing hammer curls. Oh, that's cool. And you'll feel it really pull on the way down, huh. you know. But a lot of this, what this is for is that rising pressure. When you're on the table, you want to be able to pull people back and not lose the integrity of your wrist this way. Try to turn your knuckles, exaggerate how much you turn your knuckles up. Like would you recommend one. doing this with two at once to save time? Yes, I would. Exaggerate it. And you see when you straighten your arm out, you feel that pull at the top of your wrist? God. Yeah. You like it? I mean, I don't know. See, I like this because I've had these dumbbells since that? I was like 15, and I never thought to do this. <laughs> what did you collect as a kid, Gigi? What did I collect? I collected stuff, yeah. I remember collecting things as a kid. I collected Beanie Babies. <laughs> that makes sense. When I was in middle school. Uh, Happy Meal Toys wow. when I was really young. Wow, that's insane. That's interesting. I think Cabbage Patch dolls. Yeah, my sister used to collect those. Yeah. And trolls. Whew. Remember See. trolls? Oh yeah, my mom loves trolls. Cartons, like the milk gallons, yeah. that I would just, just filled with sand. And then I would position the handles, three handles of three cartons, uh, so that they would fit in my hand and yeah. all the weight was at the front. And I would do these curls with, with those when I couldn't get to the gym. I've done that before carrying in gallon jugs of water from my car. Oh yeah. But it, I wasn't, it wasn't for training, it was for functional training. Yeah. It's a completely different exercise at this point. Yeah. In fact, I feel like I kind of want to position my, uh, my hands a little bit further back in the handle for leverage changing. Yes. So that's kind gonna... of like a hammer, the, the sledge hammers though. Yes, it is. And the further back that you go on that handle, the more that you're going to feel it really trying to push your hand open. I mean, in fact, I could actually probably lower the weight and actually grab back here if it was a pair of dumbbells. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. can't even do that anymore. Right. So yeah. Sledgehammer's out. So with a sledgehammer, did you want to go Juju? Or... Oh, I want to touch one. Okay. I just want to touch one while you talk. Okay. So with a sledgehammer, and Juju's holding the uh, four-pound sledge there. And they're kind of hard to find a four-pound sledge. So if you can't go all the way back on a six-pound sledge, you can, you can work your way back gradually. Like uh, when I first got this eight pound sledge, I marked it here because at that point that was as far back as I could go oh, to wow. lift it up and then bring it into a curled position. So, you know, gradually what I did was I would, you know, kind of just mark my way back with a piece of tape until I got to the back of the handle. And you're bringing the weight up Whoa. to here. You can also for, um, Purposes of uh, ulnar deviation, train sledge levers back to your nose. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lot harder than it looks. And then it's a if, lot. if you want to really train that, that radial deviation on the way down, you can keep kind of the pressure forward and oh. gradually lower. Like the negatives. Down. Radial and deviation negatives with hammers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, 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 the first question that springs to my mind is these other exercises that we've done. I can imagine sets and reps for that. Mm -hmm. How do you actually like, do you just play with it? I'll mark a spot mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll, I'll try to do eight to 10 second holds for a total time under tension of about a minute to a minute and a half per workout. So I'll try to hold in this position, maintaining the integrity of my wrist. And then when I get a little bit, a little bit tired or I get to that eight second mark, I put it down. 
I found that I can add on a 12 pound sledge about two tenths of an inch maybe every two weeks. I feel like this would be a lot of fun after an, a huge arm pump. Oh, it'd be so sweet if your penis grew two tenths of an inch every two weeks. I was just thinking, you just had a good penis out there. Yeah, mine does. <laughs> and I'm almost 42, so do the math. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what? Also stuffed in a sock is a, an ebook called Strong Arm Tactics. It is. And it's, I, uh, it's your book. And, and I recommend it. And I'm basically giving it away for the lowest price on Amazon, which is $2.99. Yeah, so check it's, it out. It's amazing. Well, thank you. Uh, so you, I, I actually uh, looked at it. Uh, didn't buy it illegally. <laughs> well, of course not. Jeez, thanks, Tom. Uh, <laughs> Found copies of my book in PDF format all over the world. You, they're just admiring your your book, right? Well, that's that's Without great. I, for it, I yeah. really love the lack of support. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, whenever I go to a strip club and I just give them pieces of paper. And I think it's fine, Do but you, everyone else is alarmed that it's not dollar bills. Well, no, you. you but they're still getting pieces of paper, paper, right? Yeah, you put twenty in the corner, and then maybe you draw a picture of yourself, President Tom. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that could be more value to them in the long run than a dollar. The dollar is just going to increase in all this, uh, you know, inflation and all that. My artwork, who knows? Yeah, you wink at them and you say, "This is going to be worth something someday." Yeah, I'm going to be the next Banksy. I'm going to have an art piece that gets shredded at an art gallery. We're doing this. This? Yeah. This thing. <laughs> there you go. Look at the control, people. Ladies and gentlemen. And then you go to the ground like this. There you go, Major Tom. The thing I like about these exercises, Tom, is that I can feel them working immediately and I just know that I don't have to waste a lot of time doing them. Because mm -hmm. I think you can get your job done pretty quick with all these exercises, whereas something like tibialis interior and calves right it, it takes like half an hour and the only thing you're going to be really to feel it yeah, i don't know it's masturbating yeah what did you just do there did you just attach a strap handle to a pin yes yes i did and most people do everything we have this all way. these things here and we've never done it we have all the ingredients tom to cook we haven't been thinking dish, about this at all no just need devin larrett <laughs> shouting his name devin larrett juji mufu versus devin larrett 2019 juji's gonna get his dick kicked in Yes, I will say a prayer for you. Yeah. yeah. And hammer curl. Okay. Now, you can also use this for pronation. So when you're pronating, you're turning your hand this way, which is very much the preferred movement of a top roller. So when you're pronating, you're taking the weight, and you're bringing it up. And you're still like curling so. your bicep. Yes, still curling your bicep, like so. Tom, I can't okay. wait to complicate the hell of my training. My thing that I'm just... Trying this to piece together is, did you just have, is this 20 years of arm wrestling or was there a period of time where you had like five years where you just started riffing on all your different exercises and came up with all this stuff or was, was this over time you just thought of these things? Well, a lot of it I can't take credit for because arm wrestlers have been doing exercises like this yeah. and like this and even like this supination wise, right. but they've been using towels or karate oh, belts. Okay, okay. You know? You just applied it to everyday gym equipment. Exactly. Because sometimes ooh. you don't have access to it. Karate things. belts? I have a karate belt. Oh, pulley, you're coming up this way. Huh. Or if you want to train more of the radial deviation, you're here. Wow. Just like a sort of a normal hammer curl. How would you feel it out? Again, you start light, and you know what you're finding? A lot of arm wrestlers do. They work these smaller muscle groups sometimes several times a mm -hmm. day, and they've seen some success from it. Personally, I'm once a week on them. Okay. Yeah. Natural thing is to grab inside of the handle because that's what everyone does. Mm -hmm. But you're supposed to grab outside of it. Like yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is going to correct a lot of people who want to try this who have no idea why it's not working. <laughs> the thing, Juju just said, Tom, I have something really important to say off camera. And I had to turn it on the film, and I thought he was just going to say, Dude, I got an arm pump already. Dude, I got an arm pump already. <laughs> That's like, I was like, oh, check out this variation. Dude, look at this curl variation, man. Oh, this is that. bicep curls with like this wrist thing going on. It's, it's, it's nothing wild. like it. Uh, sets on arm day, some curls with these alternative variations. Okay. So from here, yep. you're going to turn your hand at the top. Oh, okay. So you're gradually turning your hand when you get to the top. And really pronate it 
It's a little too much weight for me. Yeah. Wait, can I can I get yeah, can yeah. I guide your hand? Gather here? me here. So oh, turn. Oh turn, okay. Turn right to there. Yeah. Yep. And then down. And then same thing. Good. What do you call this exercise? Oh gosh, you're putting me on the spot again. Uh, pronating hammer curls. Pronating pin. Strap, Strap, loading hammer, pin. Curls. It's called yeah. Picasso because this is a work of fucking art. A lot of these exercises are good for <laughs> for bodybuilding and like power exercise training. Absolutely. I just want to throw these in our arm workouts already. Yeah. There's a bottoms up kettlebell exercise. Unfortunately, yeah. we only have a couple kettlebells that are a little bit too heavy, so I can just show you a few reps. This is also you're using pretty much every single different type of equipment in the <laughs> that could be used for arm equipment. Now we got kettlebells too. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, it looks really hard. And you're it supposed to start light, right? You're supposed to start light, and and we can't because you don't have a light kettlebell. I don't have a light kettlebell. Yeah, and and I don't know that I could do that right now with this kettlebell. But you almost want to bring it up into position without stabilizing with your other hand. It's almost. It feels like you. It takes about four or five seconds to get everything to a point where you're confident, where you can press it overhead. Yeah. And while you're doing that, you feel like stabilization. You're going crazy trying to stabilize that kettle, but oh. arm wrestling, it, it's very shoulder involved. Like you're punching up this All way. Right. So if you're able to do that with a kettlebell, so you're saying like if you're doing a bunch of shoulder press sets, just maybe replace one set in the middle of all your sets with. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Tom? We need some lighter kettlebells. Well, you also recently we worked with John Meadows and he had a variety of exercises we use kettlebells with, so they're gonna work for that too. All right, yeah. Do you this, think this is from a Sherpa? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But instead of putting it around our ankles, we're gonna put it around our elbows. You can do the aptly named exercise World Strongest Armpit. This is the world's strongest armpit. This is the world's strongest armpit exercise. Okay. And you can stabilize your body, bring your elbow down. You can stabilize your body, bring your elbow to the center of your chest. And there's different variations of it. You can be here and you can pull your elbow back. What? Into your body this way as well. So, so much of arm wrestling is being able, when somebody's pulling you in a different direction, to be able to keep your elbow inside and keep everything strong and solid so that you can move in one piece. It's very difficult when you feel like you have somebody pulling your arm in so many different directions. So if you, you get to the point where you can bring your elbow into your body and keep it at all of these different angles, then you'll be a lot stronger on the table and you'll be a lot harder to separate by your opponent. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. If I had a choice between going to hell or heaven for arm wrestling, I would choose you. I wouldn't choose either of those. That thing that was tucked down in my sock is getting a it's getting a little stiff. It's almost oh, like a breeze. Just, really? Just went up. Thank really? you, Tom. I got stiff from your Patagonia arm attachment. I really <laughs> fuck this is. It looks like you're about to jump out of an airplane. Let's film a lookbook. With a parachute worn like a middle schooler with a backpack <laughs> slung on one shoulder. You, you got to help him out. I was... Like that. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Look, one chest is bigger than the other and you had to bounce it out. You just do a ton of this on one side to bounce it I've out. I've really been so hyper aware of that lately. There's been like a lot of comments about my left tater being bigger than my right, so it's perfect. It probably helps in an exercise like this. I'm just speculating to imagine your arm wrestling. Yes. Yeah. I just I'm just thinking about John Meadows coming out of the back woods here and then going over to the plate sack and just holding it down for me at the <laughs> when I'm at this contraction point. Oh, you ready? You can imagine there's a pad here and you're sweeping your arm into position and out. Yeah, and you can get even better range of motion. Even just like doing these dumb circle things. Yeah. I just feel my chest just going, hey, yeah. I'm gonna cramp pretty soon from, from this. Yeah. Imagine I'm arm, wrest arm wrestling someone from the elbow up. More? We're gonna have to go to Casual yeah. Encounters Craigslist to find a few more. <laughs> there you moments. go. All right, now, now sweep through with your elbow and pin me. Wait, okay. With your elbow, everything, and pin yeah. me over there. Everything and pin me. There. There you go. Oh, God, I can't finish you. If I, if I give you more pressure, too. Yeah. Like, watch, I'm going to give you more pressure this time. All right. Yep, go through it. Now drag everything. Don't, don't, lose, don't leave your body. Yep. Drag everything this way. Yeah. So, so is that helping you a lot? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't have to add. I can't tell how hard you're trying anyway because you're. Well, I don't have to try. Like if, if Bo 
or no offense, Bo, I'm sorry. Tense up your arm first, and then Bo's gonna, I mean, and then uh, Juju's gonna pull through it. Right. Yep. Right. Ready? Yep. Yep. Well, I thought Bo. How hard were you finish. trying? Not very. Okay. Yeah. So, so try harder this time. Okay. Right. Yeah. What the fuck, Bo? Uh, try not to leave your body, though, Juju. I know okay. you, you feel like, because that's pulling you this way, that you want to leave your body. Yeah. Sweep it with you. Okay. Bring it with you. Sweep it with you. Yeah. Ready, Bo? Yeah. All right. There. Good. Hmm. Are you still trying? Yeah. Regular nylon handle that you'll see in gems. Not attachment. putting your hand through it. Nope. Putting it on the side. Okay. Here. Knuckles turned up, bringing it down where the elbow pad would be, and I'm rotating through it to pin in the corner. Mm. That way. Okay. And you're going to put your palm here so that it's trying to turn you open. Oh, gosh. And then you're going to take it from this corner, bring it down, and pin it in this corner. Here? Yep. Very good. There you go. It's basically this area, mm -hmm. cross, and then uh, outside your wrist. Yeah. But it feels like I would have less chance of getting injured arm wrestling. When you're trying to hook your opponent, mm -hmm. who, who you want to have turned in with your wrist, oh. you have to use that supination. I could even like have my thumb set just like arm wrestling over here, right? Mm -hmm. You could actually set my thumb up. You could. That way. Yeah, yeah, you could cap your thumb actually. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Look at this. I look like one of those guys that trains for arm wrestling. <laughs> Damn, dude, you just gave me an idea. You should write a book. <laughs> about arm wrestling? Yeah. yeah, no, you, yeah, you, yeah. Sounds good. Because you look like a guy that writes a book about arm wrestling. Until you make it, is that right? There's so few of us, but you look just like us. Tom is right. You look just like somebody who would write a book about arm wrestling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh, gosh, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. that's the stuff, James. It is the oh, stuff. You don't have to do very much of that. No. God. I feel like I'm in an arm wrestling match right now. Yeah. Oh, finish the guy. It's a trail of things that we don't usually use for many purposes, like that we've been using this video, but now there's two grip things that are pretty familiar to us, but you're using for arm wrestling. Yes, yes. Um, a lot of times I get asked questions about what grip exercises you should do for arm wrestling because there are so many of them. Right. Um, I think personally the ones that I've seen the most benefit from are doing thumbless thick bar training, whether it's, it's double overhand axle, which you don't have to go double overhand. Personally, I don't think it's, it's necessary, but well, we have a double go, overhand yep. here and we have an yep. axle and we have apparently thumbs over. No yes. thumbs. So this yeah. is, you just do the deadlift. You would just do an axle deadlift with your thumbs over then. I would. I would also possibly take a thicker rolling handle uh -huh. and do one-handed wrist curls from a neutral position with my thumb miss uh, off. So I would have the weight on a loading pin up, and I would be doing wrist curls hmm. here. I see you have you've done some one-hand axle, right? Well, actually, my forearms are getting pumped just standing here okay. really far for this video. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yes, so, I have. But yeah, you have the, the, the center mark uh, uh, X there for, mm -hmm. the, for the axle. If you do one hand axle, you know, you'll feel like you right have to stabilize. Oh, good more. God. Yeah. Imagine you had something gigantic between your legs. Oh, yeah. Yes. If it like was tucked Imagine, in your right. socks. You know? <laughs> Imagine. So, so there, yeah. And you can, you can wrist curl, you can do holds. Dude, this is. So much cooler than doing wrist curls with dumbbells like we were doing at the mm -hmm. start of the day. Yeah. Look at this. Not as a to everyone because not everyone's going to have access to an axle bar. But if you do, please wrist curl it without yeah. your thumbs. And again, if you just have access to a fat grip, right? You know, you can, do anything. You, can you can remove your thumb from it and you can do, you know, wrist curls or holds or even reps. Okay. You know, mix it up. Well, My head's about to explode right now. Uh, out of well, okay, so the person is training from home and they want to increase and do one of these exercises or do something. Mm -hmm. and they want to buy something. What one thing would you tell them to buy that could probably help them out in these? Rolling handle, whether it's a crusher or a trilobite handle, they make them as long as you have a loading pin, access to a loading pin, or if you 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 do want to do it off of a cable machine, that's right. fine too. Grab it from a low cable a low pulley position 
and, and do wrist curls that way, thumbless. Is pinch training. If this axle was three inches, it would be harder to pick up, right? Mm -hmm. So the thicker the handle, the harder it is to, to control. So the thicker your thumb is, the harder it is gonna be for your opponent to grip up and feel comfortable with it. <laughs> and if you really kind of puff out your hand and drive into somebody's palm, they're like, whoa, that's a lot to grab onto. And you want your opponent to be uncomfortable. So you're saying if, you're, if you increase the size of your thumb to two times the size it is now, you'll be a better arm wrestler. Yes, it won't be, it won't increase in length, unfortunately. Like yeah, you make it things. fat, right? Like but a wolfish? Yes, yeah, we can, we can make it thick. We can thicken up our thumbs, you know? And that's the thing is my hands used to be, I mean, they're not, they're not big. They're, they're thick. They're, they are thick, and that's a thing. Major tick. Yes. So it, it, for me, increasing the size of my hands in terms of the width has made it very difficult for opponents to grip. And I, more than anything, like to grab, grip up with somebody and have that look in their eyes like, oh, gosh, I can't get comfortable. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's, that's part of winning a match. Yeah. And, and the way that you thicken your thumbs is either through doing movements to strengthen the thumb or through pinch. Okay. I think pinch grip training strengthens your thumbs probably more so than anything. Well, we've done a lot of pinch grip training videos before. I see that. We're gonna start working on some of these exercises, guys, because we have a arm wrestling tournament coming up mm -hmm. and I need to train for it, so um, I need to start like right now. Okay. I just wanna pretend for a day, you know? Yeah. Ugh. Guys, please check out Strong Arm Tactics. It's a cool book. This is the third part. We got the fourth part coming soon. We're gonna bring a bunch of guests. We're gonna have a round robin tournament. I'm gonna make it really fun and engaging. And we're hopefully not gonna hurt anybody. <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing. That'd be ideal. We're gonna have a lot of people, past, present, and future. <laughs> and it's, like the, it's like the night before Christmas. What is what is that? It's a, yeah, a it's Christmas carol? Is it Scrooge? Truman Show. We're gonna have multiple arm wrestling tables. And uh, your breath smells like corn. Does it really? It smells like corn? I think so. Is it that bad or is it like just corn? Just it's cream of cream of corn. Cream of corn. It's actually appetizing. Oh yeah. Good. Let's get some lunch.